Hello there internet, I am Eichenbahn of Lux and Hemlock, and today we are going to be playing a new game called Land Nama. Uh, this is, well I, I decided to leave the opening graphic here for the start of the game, uh, I'll just read it. In, in the 9th century, North settlers crossed the sea to settle the uninhabited wilds of Iceland. Some found success in their new home, while others succumbed to the punishing winter. Their fates were recorded for history in the pages of the great book of Land Nama. Um, and this is a, a kind of interesting little survival game. It's very minimalistic, it's hex based, and there are just a few resources. Pretty much every resource in the game, uh, either produces or costs, and every action in the game either produces or costs hearts, and, um, there's a little bit of randomization that goes into this game so whenever you play it you uh you get to choose like which clan of vikings that you're going to be different clans are uh, better at different things and um and you get kind of an opportunity to see if they can find your your goal is to find these kind of uh landmarks on the island and i guess that goes to that proves that your clan is worthy of taming the wilderness and so the gods will allow them to survive and the winters will fade but until that happens you have to you know explore and build up your your clan um and try to try to survive the the onslaught of the winters that will be coming so we are uh we're gonna get some notifications here this is the first time i'm like really starting it up um gonna give us a little bit of thing uh so battle all six regions of iceland um we haven't unlocked anything this is all kind of you know we're just kind of starting out so we're just gonna go ahead and begin a saga we'll uh just go with normal difficulty and now we're gonna choose our clan so choose a clan if their settlement succeeds this clan will be unavailable for the rest of the saga if it fails, you can use this clan again, but if three settlements fail, the saga ends. So if we, essentially, if you, if you don't, if you, if you aren't successful in settling the entire island, uh, after three clans have failed, you will, you lose the game. So, uh, we could choose to be Helga, the bears. Uh, they have a starting bonus of plus five at the start of every settlement, and this is plus five hearts they start the game with more hearts and they gain one extra heart per harvest from home um i don't think that we i think i think clan helga is the only one that we can actually start the game with and it's a pretty good one to start with so that's a we'll go with them uh this is iceland choose a region to settle and complete the saga settle all six regions so, um, and each region has a unique landmark to find. Once discovered, it will grant a powerful effect for the rest of this saga. Uh, so then you, you need to choose the region that you're going to try and settle. Uh, f and I'm going to butcher these names, but uh, Faxafloy is uh, a wetland. Surderland is a woodland. Um... And if we were to discover the landmark, we would get plus one builder. Uh, there's Hornasfjordr, uh, which is a glacier. Um, Osturland would be a grassland. Uh, Skjolfandi would be the sea. And Vatnsfjordr would be the highland. Um... I think we're just going to start with Surderland. Uh, that, that plus one builder sounds pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and set sail. All right. Arrival at Surderland. The clan finally arrived at the shores of their new home. With spirits raised, they witnessed lush forests sprawling inland. As they pulled their boats onto the beach, a loud sound in the distance, accompanied by a jet of water shooting upwards, catches their attention. This land seems full of riches and mysteries to explore. Surrounded by trees, they had their the resources to start and grow their new home. Now the land must be explored and buildings raised to build heart and establish a settlement that can stand the test of time. Okay, so this is going to talk about the mechanics. This shows your current and maximum heart. 
Heart is used to explore, build, and survive winter. You can increase it by max by uh, by the maximum by building houses. Um, this bar represents time. Uh, re represents one year. Each segment represents one month. Time passes automatically. And harvest are when heart is produced. This shows how much heart will be gained at the end at the next harvest. This is the home tile. Complete the settlement by upgrading it four times from a homestead to a great hall. The upgrade starts automatically once you reach this amount of heart per harvest. Uh, this tile is already explored and ready to be built on. Click on to open the build menu. Uh, there's so Essentially you can build a fisherman. This is a production building which yields hearts. Um, and I think it's going to force me to do this, which I don't like. Uh, this tile needs to be explored before it can be built on. Exploring costs more hearts and time. Um, for the tile is from home tile, click to explore it. Uh, when exploring, the unique tiles reveal an event, a curiosity, or the region's landmark. The landmark grants a powerful bonus for the rest of the saga. Curiosities give positive effects, and events have a chance to provide positive and negative effects that last for the rest of the settlement. In the but. This button pauses time. Time is automatically paused in menus. When ready, press this button to unpause and begin. So, uh, yeah, it it went really quickly through that there. Um, and I don't like that it made some choices for us. But uh, what I wanted to explain is about winter. So, you like I said, this, this game uses one resource. It's just these hearts. And at the end of winter it's going to roll a die to determine how many hearts you're going to, it's going to cost you to survive the winter. Um, and this just gets harder and harder each year. So you have to be kind of tact, you know, you have to be sort of a tactician to figure out, uh, you know, you need to manage your hearts very, very carefully uh, because you don't want to end up in a, in a hard winter where you don't have enough hearts. That's how you lose. Um, in addition to that, what's kind of cool about this game is that, on the tile here where it shows this building this lets you know the icon itself lets you know how many turns or how many months it will re be required to build what has been set to build um, same would be true for exploring and the further out that you go the uh, the, the longer it takes to build something because you're further away from like your your central command post or whatever um, so yeah that's that's pretty much the game and you'll see some like events and things pop up, some you know quote unquote like random encounters will kind of take place every now and then. Um, here we've finished our first month, and we've discovered a grassland. Uh, this is a quality tile. All buildings grant bonuses when built on quality tiles, uh, but some hearts should be saved because at the end of each year, a random amount of heart in this. Range will be lost to winter's toll. It increases every year along with your growing settlement. Click here for a detailed breakdown. Um, exploring requires explorers and building requires builders. This shows how many of each are available at the moment. So we have two explorers and we have two builders. So we can only ever explore or build this number of times. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of let this keep ticking along. So we'll actually, well, pause this. So we have seven hearts. Um, what we want to do is, let's see what we can build on the grassland. We could do a pasture. And this gets bonus hearts per adjacent pasture die. Uh, so what we want to do is find out if there are more pastures nearby. So let's spend some hearts to explore these two. And you see how it, this one cost us more to explore? Uh, this one actually cost two uh, and two months. So the further away something is, the more it costs. Uh, so now we've we've built this uh, fisherman production. So we really ideally want to find more um, find more uh, fishing tiles to increase that one as well. Explore. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and 
Let's do... Yeah, alright, so here we go. Okay, so that's a forest tile, um, which doesn't help us with this grassland. Let's see if we can get another either forest or grassland. Okay, so the aurora, a particularly stunning display of the northern lights, pulls everyone's eyes to the sky, inspiring awe and wonder. Feeling the power of the gods close by, everyone gives a little extra in their work. Um, so settlement effect is a plus one maximum heart. So that's pretty cool. Um, we are going to find out. Yeah, so we do have multiple forests here. So let's explore this one. And if this is also a forest, then we will probably build something on it. Oh, and it's not. Okay, so let's explore here. Okay, Witcher's coming. Save enough hearts to pay its toll. Uh, we're going to be fine for this winter. Okay, but that's really good. So now we've got two fisheries. So we definitely want to build a fishery here. But that's going to cost us five hearts um, which we can afford right now and will help us in the long run so we're gonna do that it's gonna take three turns for it to build and then we'll be we'll get one more resource gather before winter comes but not before this fishery is finished well actually I don't know, really know how that works so it's gonna finish on the third turn so this might work out in our favor then we'll get more resources. Seems like not. Okay. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now... Doesn't need to grow without houses. To any non-house building, plus 10 to maximum. So that increased our the maximum number of hearts that we can get by like a lot. Um, by 10 and the tile bonus is another five so we got 15 additional by building that um, but that didn't increase production that just increased what we can uh, we can have but this one did because it's adjacent to a C so currently currently we're generating three hearts per harvest season so we really need to um, we really need to increase our production value so let's see if we can manage that we've got six currently I think we're gonna go I think we're going to go with this so that leaves us with two but we'll still be good for winter <clears throat> it's possible we could roll a zero for winter all right, so nice. Okay, so we um, this winter is going to just cost zero zero hearts, which is great, and then it's going to be spring again. All right, so now uh, we're automatically going to start building um, the next level of our encampment. Um, and what we really, we've only got two hearts currently, so we kind of have to wait for a harvest, and that gave us seven, which is great. Um, going to probably, Already built. Did we? That's the one we built it on already. Woodcutter. Okay. So we need to explore a little bit more. 
Oh, there's something here. There's something special over here. So we need to explore out that way. So let's use two of our hearts to explore that way. And... Get two hearts that way. And we'll just we'll find out what's out there. See what other settlements we can find. Now you can see that the next winter is going to cost us between six and eight hearts. So we really need to increase our production this year. Okay. Midnight sun. The days stretch especially long at the moment, the sun rarely dipping below the horizon. More hours of light means more hours to hunt and forage in the normally dark woods, making life a little easier. So that means our exploration cost is going to be a little cheaper for a short time. Um, we're going to wait till the next harvest. Okay, so we now have eight hearts. Um, we... Well, let's find out what that is, especially since it's so far away. It's going to cost us three. And then, see if that can help us as well. Okay, farmstead. New buildings available. Uh, the first home upgrade has been completed, and new buildings are now available. You also gained a mastery point, which can be spent to improve production buildings for the remainder of the settlement. Now let's open the mastery menu. Okay, so we're going to go to the mastery menu. Three successive ranks can be purchased for each production type. Each rank costs one mastery point. There is no way back, so choose wisely. You are also free to save your points until you're ready to spend them. Um... So currently, this is, this woodcutter counts wetlands bonus tiles, woodcutter can be built twice, that would be pretty useful for us. Um, bone carver, plus one harvest from hunter, finwise for peat farm. I think for right now we're going to go with timbercraft. Um, that's just an immediate bonus, and we're probably going to be building some new uh, Aurora. Particularly stunning display of the Northern Lights pulls everyone's eyes to the sky. Wonder. Okay. It's a good event that we got for that. Uh, we've got six hearts, so I think we should probably build something. And I think it said that we could build more th build farms or something now so peat farm don't know if there will be other peat farms Perfecty. tile bonus Oh, we've already built it, so you can only, it looks like you can only build one of these locations once. Um, Alright, well then let's see what, uh, let's see what this turns out to be. Okay, curiosity discovered, and that's going to reduce winter's toll. It's also two forests. Okay, so we really need to Glacier. Let's go there. And here got eight currently those are our two that we can do anything with and there's something we could build here um, this one's really not great because we don't have a lot of adjacent grassland so 
I don't want to build our farm there. Doing good on resources for the coming winter. Ooh, okay. That's good. That's good. We definitely would we definitely need to build this, but we're that's gonna cost ten. Um is there something else that we can highland? Hunter production. One per harvest and one heart per adjacent highland. Uh no guarantee that there's more highlands. So I think we'll need to explore a little bit further. And we're just kind of, uh, need to kind of wait until the winter passes before we start building uh, that new fishery. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, so that, that was five that time. That was the maximum. Um, all right, so here we go. Year three. And Midnight Sun. The days stretch especially long at the moment. The sun rarely dipping below the horizon. Uh, cool. And Ulrus Rest. Studying the land seems to indicate the coming winter may be milder than usual. Oh, that's good too. Okay. Thanks. Now that we've got this production, we want to build this house utility, non-house buildings. This actually would cost us a lot, and it, it's not going to have the effect that I was hoping for. But we do have two grasslands now, so I do think this is probably worth building. It's going to cost us four. Let's, maybe there will be more grasslands? Does that mean it's gonna cost us zero hearts? Yeah, okay. So let's head in that direction. And that direction. If we're lucky, there'll be more highlands. Are a few more highlands that is now adding a lot more hearts to our production or harvest for each year. Um, this wetland, uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of um, overlapping wetlands that we've seen so far. Uh, let's do that though. And maybe if we're lucky, that will be another forest, which in, would increase our woodsman. Oh, it is an overlapping wetland. Okay, perfect. So if this one is also overlapping, then we could make a lot of hearts. It's going to take a little bit of time to find that out, though. We need somewhere between 6 and 10 this season. So I think... I think we are going to uh, go for a peat farm. Okay, and that was another forest that did increase our uh, our woodsman. We could build a shrine, but that would cost eleven. <laughs> Okay, 
So we're starting starting to do pretty good here. If this next one turns out to be another peat, that would be wonderful. Uh, looks like it's a forest. Okay, what's this? Weaver production. The weaver crafts prized textiles, elevating the value of the pasture. Doubles production of adjacent pastures. Carpenter production. Efficiency doubles the production of adjacent woodcutter tiles. Oof. That's expensive. Um, what is this? Kiln production doubles the production of adjacent peat tiles, which reduces winter's toll. So that's 20. This is We've got quite a lot of... Uh, things now though so this might be the point where we actually do build this house but it looks like that's gonna be 20 <laughs> seems like everything kind of went up at the same time let's explore there and explore there Fifteen for a meat hall. So we actually hit the maximum there. We lost some. But we found quite a lot of highlands. Um, so. Let's get some hunters. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to build this house, I think, here. Let's explore that. It's a zero. It's not going to hurt us at all to do that. Winter. Ugh. Okay, not not great, but not too bad. Um, we're starting off the year off pretty strong here. Muror's breath. What started as a quiet day has changed suddenly as a great storm blew in and has churned the sea into a deadly fury. So that increased winter's toll for this year. Uh, not great, not great, but look at how many hearts this is now producing, um, which is wonderful. Woodland, uh, we could build a sacred gohi. Productions. Current harvest. All right. Uh, go there. We're going to need somewhere between 17 and 24. Uh, so this is starting to ramp up really quickly. Production. 
But, I mean, we're making quite a bit... Tanner production. Artist who works with the hunter, preparing, curing hides, doubles production of adjacent hunter. Ooh. That's. Okay. So that actually will work for us. Doubles their production, it says. And we've got the. I mean, we kind of need to be spending these. Undergrowth. The gatherers made a clever discovery today. It seems there is a very small flower that only grows the most fertile soil. Follow the flowers. Find the very best lands. Uh, plus one percent chance to find special tiles. Okay. Okay. Get me out of here. Um. I need to keep exploring. And we got more highlands, which helped. Ugh, that's gonna be five. All right. All right. And now we have some new buildings that are available. Uh, we've got the Hallowed Lagoon, uh, Hothi Harvest Multiplier, plus one per harvest from Gothi. We've got the Hallowed Grove, um, which essentially these just make the Gothies that we build better, it seems like. And I can see the merit in building them uh, over time. So. Oh. Oh, right. And then we have two of these points. So uh, we've got two mastery points. I think uh, we're going to choose that mastery. Could count as wet count wetlands as bonus tiles, and they can be built twice, which is going to be great for us. Um, so woodlands as bonus tiles counts highlands as bonus tiles. I wish I could kind of move this out of the way, and pastures can be built twice. Counts special tiles as adjacent bonus. Fishermen can be built twice. Count grasslands. This one is probably the most useful. I'm not sure, really. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to go all in on that one for right now. So, now we can build two uh, woodcutters, which I think if we do that here, that's going to be kind of crazy. There's a wetland. Um... So I think now we're kind of at the point where we should probably... Well, let me see how many hearts these are going to build up. I think it's going to be quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, okay. So um, we we have a ton of hearts that are going to be generated per harvest now. Uh, so what we're going to do is probably build a, build a Gothi. Um, Yeah, actually, we're going to build a carpenter direct and adjacent wood. It's one construction cost. No, no. Uh, Gothi Sacred. Adjacent to any non-house building, plus 10 maximum. We actually need more of these houses. Glacier. There's a grassland. Yeah. Okay. We need 
need to be able to have more hearts or else we're not going to. Uh, and we need to keep exploring. I think we should be fine. That's, that's all I really want to commit to right now. Yeah, we're absolutely fine for right now. We're making a ton of stuff. Okay, so... Um, I guess we would want to do that. And... Probably, like, build a, another house. Kiln production, don't... Just takes off winter's toll. It's not bad. I think uh, we can't we can't quite do that one. Um, I, think we're, I don't think there's anything else we could really build a shrine. We could do that. Here's our winter's toll. Okay, okay. All right, the new year starts. We're gonna get a ton of resources here. Okay, uh, yeah, we need more, we need like more houses. Oh, there's something else out here, actually. Uh, oh, the floors are busy. Midnight sun. Yeah, okay, cool. Uruzes. Nice, okay. All right, new buildings. Uh, we can make a Scali production. Adjacent weavers now triple harvest. Uh, wharf production. Ship builders now triples harvest. Five left after winter's storm. Gain one heart per five heart left. Okay, that's interesting. We built a little built a little shrine over here. that way um, we need more houses yeah we need more houses More mastery points. Okay, so perfect. Um, I I really don't think that this helps us very much, but uh, Finwise grasslands as bonus tiles that could be useful. Okay, so they count grasslands as bonus tiles. That's kind of useful, not very useful. And we can build one more peat farm if we want. Um, Got 
got some things that'll be coming in soon here. again which is great um the pasture it's utility we just need we need the ability to to collect and gather and store more hearts in order to keep going um The Great Hall. Alright. So we settled the region. Which increases our multiplier. Sigurd, the Bulls. High risk, high reward mentality clan. They're focused on rapid growth and in doing so have mastered their own strategy for survival. Um, gives you. Toss to maximum. Okay. Orlger, the rangers, particularly adept at their ability to traverse lands with their eyes always on the horizon. They are a clan of curiosity and exploration. Tiles around the home tile already explored, and they have 20% less exploration time. Um, got the foundation, which we completed a settlement. <laughs> Not a fan of the cold. Completed the settlement before the seventh winter. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, so that was, um, that was one clan settling the island and that's kind of what the game looks like each clan has different like powers and abilities and um and i think probably I, I think your your real goal as you play these is you want to um you want to try to find the the secret uh this the secret locations in the game uh but your time limit is kind of on whether or not either you you fail or you finish building that uh that great hall and that's what determines if you are successful or not but um so yeah i think this is a pretty cheap game i found it on steam for like less than 15 dollars um so if you enjoyed watching it like you know go and pick it up it's pretty cheap um costs you less than going out to i don't know going out to a mcdonald's or something but uh yeah i thought this one was cool and i thought i'd do a video on it just to kind of show it off and i hope you had fun